right, let's go ahead and jump into part two of the multi-holiday layouts and X-Lights file structure webinar here. This is video number two, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So there's uh, actually, I have, there's two schools of thoughts on exactly what's the best way to kind of go around this. And I, I know that we're going to do a little bit more discussion in this session uh, because there really isn't a ton of content. So what we'll talk about is there's two ways to do it. The first way is you use one X-Lights layout for all holidays. And the second way to, that you can think about doing this is use multiple folders for multiple holidays. Now, um, we'll start with creating uh, with multiple previews and creating it with one main layout. Like all one, if you had, if you had one show folder and you just wanted to use one file structure to run your Halloween, your Christmas, your Easter, and all of that, you can do it. It is possible, but you're going to find out as we go through it, it gets very, very complicated, and it will get very expensive really quickly. Um, so keep in mind here that you have, uh, it, it, on your layout tab, you have the uh, basic start of x lights, which is your all models preview. And what you end up using is your default. Now, many of you know that if you use 3D, that your layout in 3D only works whenever it's under the default level. So that should tell you there's going to be some problems right away. But suffice to say, if you choose to run your Halloween and Christmas show off of one folder, you can do it. But there's a lot of caveats, so we'll get into this. Uh, with the one with the one lay, all in one layout method, you're only using one show folder. The props that share the same holidays can use the same controller output. So uh, in this example here on the right, you see we have arches here. And you can set the preview in the model preferences. You can set the dialog to be in under, under all previews. So whenever you go back, if we go back here, we can see that we have all, all previews. These are all your previews. So you'd, you'd set it to all previews. It would show up in Halloween, it would show up in Christmas, and it would show up in the default uh, previews, which you could then sequence in x lights. So that's the positive thing. Now it says here, it's, we, we go on and we say, props that share the same holidays can use that same controller output. So, so all of your controller connections, which I didn't take a snapshot of this, uh, or down here, I, did, I guess I did, you, you know, you can have um, your Falcon, your Falcon number one, or your cult controller number one, and it has 16 outputs, and those arches are on output number one, and the uh, the first two or the, the the next two are on output number uh, two, and output number three, and so forth. You can you can do that. Um, you're able to assign those props to be in all previews, and then you can also limit a prop to be in a specific preview for that holiday. So this is what else is nice, is you can say, hey, I've got the Boscoyo bats, or I've got Gilbert's bats, and I'm gonna throw that in my Halloween preview. So now, so now you've separated the two out, you say, well, now I've got my arches are in the all previews, they're in every preview, so it shows up in Christmas and in Halloween, but then you only have your Halloween props in the Halloween layout. So there is the possibility to do this. The thing, though, is, is that putting, the, putting these controllers together or having the arches and the bats on the same controller gets a little messy because whenever you do add them, they begin to start stacking on top of each other. And what happens is the problem comes from props can be in either all models group or the all models preview excuse me or they can be in one specific holiday preview that's the problem channel overlap will start to occur if you put two props onto the same output of one controller so yes you can have one one controller in x lights and have your halloween show set up on certain outputs but then as you start putting your christmas lights out and maybe there's more christmas props then you start to run into challenges where you're using the same outputs for those as well. You must have different controllers set up to run this kind of a show. So what I recommend if you're going to do something like this is that you have your Halloween props with a Halloween controller only. And then you have your Christmas props 
with your Christmas controllers only. So as your Halloween and Christmas shows grow, the more complex it will be. And uh, this is one example. I don't know if, 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 the, if the young man is here with us tonight, but that's year number one on the left. As your show grows, it will continue to grow one, af one year after another. And on the right here, you see three years into his show, uh, and he's got this outrageous, ridiculous, crazy, you know, probably 40,000, 50,000 pixel show. And it, 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 if this is what your Christmas show looks like, but your Halloween, sh if your Christmas show looks like this and your Halloween show like looks like this, um, it, it becomes more challenging because now you have more controllers that you're just kind of throwing off to the side. So that, that becomes the problem whenever you do an all-in-one show folder that shares your Halloween layout and your Christmas layout, for example. 3D layouts do not work on these individual previews. So that becomes a problem as well, that 3D only works on a default preview. So if you have one home and it's in 3D and you want to do Christmas and Halloween, by default you have to run two different show folders. You have to. There's no way around it that I can see or that uh, unless Rob's going to chime in here and, and uh, has an idea of how to do this. There just is no way to run two 3D layouts in the same X Lights folder, so that makes it that makes it really hard. And then at what point uh, will it be too much work to juggle two layouts inside one show folder? Whenever your Christmas outputs and your Halloween props start to col to collide, and you have have to buy more controllers, and you you know controllers are the expensive thing in the hobby pixels are expensive too but we don't think about buying controllers we think more about buying pixels because oh you just pick up your controller and plug it in well as soon as you buy another controller that's probably three four five hundred bucks that you've got to invest into either having somebody build it or you building one for yourself maybe it's three hundred bucks um, I prefer more more controllers more controllers more better but having an all-in-one um, uh, having an all-in-one file for all of your holidays is really not feasible. It's possible. If you're very strict on yourself and you limit yourself to what you do, yes, you can do it. But the more limits you put on yourself, the harder and more frustrating it's going to be, especially whenever you want to grow your show. And the more you grow your show, it just diverges. So keep that in mind. And this is what we recommend. This is what I recommend. Which show folder is going to be the biggest layout in your entire setup. And the reason that that's important, because that's the first step to getting ready for this, finalizing the largest of your two or three shows for the entire year. If you are planning on three shows or two shows, let's say, let's say Halloween and Christmas, what you need to do is you need to start with your Christmas show and put all of your Christmas stuff together. And after you have your Christmas show finalized, then what you're going to do is you're going to do a check sequence, verify you don't have any overlaps, any channel issues, any problems, fix any errors you have with your final biggest layout. And then next what you'll do is you'll open the, open the show folder and you'll copy your RGB effects and your network file, these files right here. You'll copy those and then you'll paste them, for example, into from your Christmas, because typically Christmas is larger, then Halloween, you'll go into your Halloween show folder and you'll paste those in there. All of the other files that we talked about earlier, those are auto-generated. Auto if you're going to do sequences and importing and mapping and stuff like that, I, I recommend that you go ahead and put your uh, put them inside these folders. You, you can do that. Uh, it's, a little, uh, it's, a, it's a little easier to do that. Um, if you put your media in your x -Lite show folder, for example, above your Christmas or your Halloween, um, X Lights may not find it automatically if it, because X Lights does look for things automatically, uh, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, after copying your layout, remove unwanted holiday props from the duplicate layout. So basically, what you're doing is you're going through and you're saying, okay, at Christmas time, I have um, I have ten wreaths up. I have um, 30 snowflakes up, I'm going to take all those down and I'm going to replace those with my 10 bats or my uh, spiders or my, my skeletons or whatever it is and you're going to begin adding those new props. 
And then after that, you're going to assign to your open ports those different props because now you can utilize those controllers and make it easy for you to switch between the two. So you'll have a map for your Halloween, and then you'll also have a plug-in map for your Christmas. And uh, another, another thing is to remember to add, like uh, for specific holidays, uh, the images, the, the import folder, the music folder, remember to add that in. Uh, that is, like I said earlier, important. And, and uh, somebody's gonna tell me, I, kn I, I know this question is gonna come up, why do you really recommend a separate folder for different shows? And this, this is truly the biggest answer. Uh, and I know Rob is sitting in the background. He's going to say, I totally agree. Um, because there's, you're going to see posts just like this pop up in front of you every single day from now until the day you're tired of this hobby. And Jim Nealon, who's sitting in the background, is shaking his head, his head too. Well, now I see that awesome new singing tree. Now I see that new pumpkin. I want that cat, but I have the Boscoyo cat. I like that new snowflake. That new snowflake's awesome. I'm going to get three of those. And by the end of the day, you've, you've, you've made a, a significant number of orders. You've ordered your pixels, and now you have completely diverged from what you did at Christmas to what you did at another holiday. So it's really hard for people like uh, uh, us in the hobby. The, the longer in the tooth you get with it, you, you, it, it's easy to add stuff. It's easy to say I'm going to add something, but going and doing it becomes a chore in itself. And we end up usually spending most of the year building and setting up and getting things ready and working on certain things. And by the end of it, we're just done. We just, oh my God, thank God, I got a file, and then you got to put it up. And so, the, 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 the less that you depend on one individual layout and you depend more on some indi uh, individual show folders for each individual holiday, those will diverge the longer you do it unless you reconsolidate them and then you do a total revamp, which I have ended up doing myself over three times over the past seven years. Um, but your layout's going to continue to grow and change, and new props are always being invented. Somebody's going to come up with something. Uh, X Lights is going to change something and make it easier. Meanwhile, you're going to be stuck with something else that frustrates you that's really hard. Uh, so over the years, your show is probably not going to stay exactly the same through the years. So I, I highly recommend that anytime you're considering multiple holidays, that you just use separate individual folders. And set them up just the way, just in just that manner. Use your largest layout after it's completed. You have to put a done stamp on it. Now, whether you put everything out for that holiday, not important. If you don't get it all done, no big deal. You're prepared for it though, and it's set up for next year. The but then you take that folder and you roll that in to your next show folder, which is like for Halloween, and you start taking things out and editing that so that it fits for the Halloween show. So uh, with that, I pretty much that's all I have for you guys tonight. Um, if I'm going to go check chat here and see if you have any questions.